Hey, what's up, guys? I thought I'd do a video showing a max boosted morning star at rank two six star. Um, I got a lot of boosts in the overflow, so might as well use them. Um, use a fifteen percent. A where is it? Twenty percent and a thirty percent boost. So, uh, morning star isn't the best with suicides. But she is bleed immune, so if I use the Nick Fury synergy, then I pretty much um, get rid of the suicide right away. So we're gonna build up her charges, and the way she works is she has five souls. If she's unduped, she starts with zero. If she's duped, she starts with one. And if she has a synergy with I don't remember who, she starts with two. So as you can see, I have two um, souls. I'm gonna get a third in this fight right here. So the thing with Morningstar is she's not really the best option for most stuff unless she has her souls built up um until she got like five souls she's really not that good um like her special most of her damage comes from her special one but in some scenarios her special two is the best option which is the path that we're doing um her special two basically gets rid of um all the buffs they have and does massive energy damage depending on how many buffs they have so right there we got three um Soul, so now we can just use special ones until this fight's over. And right there, look at that. When we crit, we get 10k energy damage. On non crits, we get um, 5k. So she hits decent, but you have to remember this is max boosted, uh, rank 2 6 star. So she could be better. Um, I think the main problem people have with Morningstar is just her like basic hits. If it was like 50 to 60 percent harder, she might be a better character, but. She really just doesn't hit hard unless she, uh, she pretty much gets all of her damage from her specials. But the reason she's so good is when she gets to five souls, her utility is really good. I think at one soul, um, I don't know if she does at one soul. Um, I, I think it's kind of useless though. At two souls, um, her special one has an unstoppable, I'm pretty sure. At three souls, something happens, I don't remember. Not really that important. At four, she has a chance for a perfect block, which means you can get seven hit combos. And then for five, she can regen on hits, which is basically a mixed row P. So we're gonna do these two fights here. We're gonna get these souls, and then we're gonna spam special twos, because these are the fights that Morningstar shines at, and you'll see what I mean in a second. Um, I'm on the resistor path. These guys have 250,000 health pools. But yeah, just look at this. Um, we're gonna get to a special three. We're gonna throw the special three, we're gonna get a fourth soul, and then we're gonna cycle special twos, and you're gonna see some crazy damage. Okay, I thought we had four souls. If once you get four souls, that your parry stuns can be perfect block, and they'll last a lot longer. So you can get seven to eight hit combos, if you're lucky. Um, but I just go for seven hit combos, I think eight's pushing it. I need to get a throw special, okay. And the thing with um, Morningstar is you need to, um, those special threes to get her damage and it takes like four or five fights. So it's just like, it's a piece of, she's a piece of work, bro. If you have the synergy that gives her a soul to start with, um, it only takes three fights to get her fully ramped up. Um, yeah, she does not work well with suicides at all because you see how I have these souls on my top left. Every time I hit him, I get plus five. And every time I take damage, I lose plus five. And if I go to zero, I lose the soul. And a suicide, since she's not poison immune, she just loses the soul from the poison debuff she has in her but if you run the nick fury synergy she gets rid of the poison debuff so she actually works she can also steal people's fury buffs and um and regen and cruelty and some other stuff um that's why i have a fury now it doesn't make a big difference but like we got 15 buffs on him let's launch the special to see the kind of damage this is oh my god yeah it's basically just a one shot <laughs> oh my god um so yeah as you can see morningstar if they have buffs, and a lot of them, she probably is one of the best options. Um, so yeah. I'm gonna try to do the Havoc boss at the end of this. Um, because I think with uh, five souls, when you start regenerating, I think she might be OP for that fight. I also have another synergy where I start with one bar power, which makes the um, cycle a lot faster. All I gotta do is throw one more special three and we're done with the special threes. After this, we're just gonna be doing special twos pretty much. So let's parry. We have a longer stun as you can see there. Um, because we have four souls now, so we can do seven hit combos. So I'm gonna try to remember that. Um, 
So yeah, throw the special three, get the soul, and yeah, we're cooking with gas now, boys. Let's just hit him in a few times more in the block. And yeah, now we got five souls. Now, on each of our hits, we have a 20% chance to regenerate a percentage of the damage we did. So pretty much once you get her at five souls, she can keep herself topped up like very fairly easily. So now we just need to get her special two and the fight's over. Look at that, dude. That damage is crazy. I want to see how much damage it is um, when they have full health. Because I'm curious. If you run Mystic Dispersion, she's super OP. We don't have it right now. And I'm too lazy to put it on. Also, these fights are pretty quick. I don't think we need it. So yeah, now she's at five souls. We do not have class advantage. We're going to get to a special two. And see how much it does. This guy has, uh, has 270,000 health. See, look. Elongated stuns give us a seven hit combo. Pretty nice. Okay, now let's see what kind of damage this shit brings. Okay, it did like a hundred, like thirty thousand damage, hundred twenty thousand damage. So look, we take a lot of damage from a special two, but guess what? We can just regenerate it fairly easily. If we ran Mystic Dispersion, these fights would be going a lot quicker. But I don't know. I think ten deep. I think ten buffs. We would get a special three. So I don't know how helpful it'd really be. But yeah, let's just keep going, cycling through this. I'm not getting super lucky with the regions, but look at that. We just got another 50% of his health pretty much gone. Let him throw the special too. Just to show you, like, her... Also, um, that force charges, she has a 50% chance for a perfect block. I think I already said that, but that makes, like, this guy a lot easier to fight. We didn't get too lucky with the regen procs, but some fights we can just spam regen, so you'll see that. So on average with 10 buffs, it seems to be doing with class advantage, like around 130, 140,000. Without it, like 120,000, which is still really good. Um, but what makes Morningstar so good is just her survivability with this regen. The regen in the beginning of the fight is from Nick Fury, but look at that. We just hit her a few... Oh, look, we'll get hit. We're at 70%. Look at this. We're going to proc some life steals. Okay, that did a lot of her health. She had, I don't even know how many buffs she just had, but she had a lot. So look, we're gonna regen off hits. We want to regen on the on the hits that we crit, but I meant to do a two hit combo there. So that we're getting life steal. We're getting pretty unlucky with this life steal right now, though. Come on, we need some life steal, bro. We're getting a little bit. We're getting a little bit right here. Okay, I mistimed that. We're at fifty percent. I did that on purpose. So we can show you the survivability of this character. Uh, we're not getting too lucky in the regen procs, but it's fine. She's very sustainable, so I'm not too worried. Especially with the Nick Fury synergy keeping us even more topped up. She might be able to just solo this path. I am curious to see how she's going to do against, um, what's his name? Havoc. I'm curious to see if she's going to be able. See, look, we crit there. We got a 2,000 regen off that crit. Let's see if we can get any more regen. We're not getting too lucky. Got a 2,000 regen off that. We just get a chunk of her health. That was like 60% of her health just gone with one special two. We can just block the special two also because we just got that perfect block. More chunks of regen. We really want to regen on the hits that we crit. That's like the main thing. 275 regen. I could throw a special two to finish the fight, but I want to get a little bit more regen. All right, we got a little bit more. Should be good. Fight's over. We just nullified her indestructible too, so she can't block that. She's so good. I'm curious to see how she's going to do against Hyperion. Also, her special one is going to be doing a lot of energy damage. We're going to probably be using the special one against Havoc. Let's just keep going. Keep getting these life steals. Keep going. Keep on. Keep on rolling. Let him throw the special one. Auto blocks, because why not? Keeps auto blocking. Jesus Christ. Oh, how many times? It's like a 20% chance to auto block. Jesus. Right there, 70% of his health is just gone. And, okay, I did not mean to click that. But keep in mind, we are running suicides also. So, like, we've been taking a lot of recoil damage. 
but she's just still staying topped up with her own healing and Nick Fury's healing. So it's a very good combination to just keep her very nice. Like that 1,600 healing. Didn't get too lucky there. I'm gonna do one more combo and then we're gonna throw a special two to finish this fight. Got a nice little bit of life still at the end there. So look, now we're back at 88%. We've taken a lot of hits we have not played perfectly and we're still pretty topped up. I'm a little concerned about this Hyperion fight, but should be fine, hopefully. Should be fine. It's just two hits. We got some life steal. Keep getting some life steal. Very nice. We also can take his power gain. Now we're at full health from the life steal. Very nice. Throw a nice special two. I need him to throw a special two. Very much, please. Please. He throws a special two. Thank God. And look, we keep taking his power gain, so we're still power gaining ourselves. Okay, I need you to throw your special two like right now, buddy. Alright, he didn't throw a special two, so we gotta hope this kills. I don't think it will, but whatever. Don't throw your special two, buddy. And he threw your special three. Ugh, God, that's annoying. Actually, it's not doing as much damage as I thought it would, so it should be good. That's the, we're going to show the power of regen. Hopefully we can get some nice life steal at the end of this fight. Okay, we didn't get too lucky, but whatever. Adrenaline is also helping because she's a six star, so. There's a lot of factors keeping her topped up. I think we've taken more than our whole health bar and damage so far this quest. Multiple times. So with like all the recoil from the specials and all the hits we've taken. But because of Nick Fury and her own regen, she is staying topped up, bro. She is still at... And we took a special three from my appearance. and we're still over 63%. So, yeah, it's going well. It's going honestly pretty well. The only annoying thing is that this quest has so much physical resistance that if we don't crit and we get the lifesteal, it's, like, not a lot. But it's still decent. 85%. Now we're at 80 because we threw the special, but whatever. Come on, buddy. Also, the higher her SIG is, the, um, the more like potent the fury and power gain and other shit is from the buff she steals. So, keep that in mind. We got a nice crit there, getting some nice life steal. Get some more life steal, and yeah. 100% health. I think something just crit at the end there. Look at that. Look how well she is at keeping herself topped up. That's what makes Morningstar so good. I am actually curious to see if she's going to be able to survive... Um, Havoc with the crazy um, uh, plasmas we're going to take. I don't think her hits our energy, so it should be fine. But at the same time, um, we're a little scared. Okay, let's do this right here. Oh, I don't think Annihilus has the node. Ooh, so yeah, this is not good. Okay, this is hopefully going to show off our sexy block proficiency. Throw the special, bro. Oh god, I didn't mean to do that. I need to do that as special. Block proficiency, save me. Look at that. Annihilus' is special too normally very much hurts. Let's throw a special one, see much damage it does. 25k on the crit? Excuse me? We just got a 25k on the crit. Oh my god. And since this fight doesn't have life steal, he um, doesn't have the physical resistance, our hits are doing a lot more healing. Get a crit here, and the fight's over. Oh, crap. All right. We did not get very lucky there with the um, perfect block. I don't think any of them are perfect blocks. So we took some decent damage on that fight, but she still handled it very well. Especially when it hits like an absolute truck. Let's use two more small energy refills, and we should be good to get there. All right, so this Havoc box, I don't know if we're gonna, she's going to be able to do it. Um, I think she should be able to do it, unless I, like, mess up, which is definitely possible. 500,000 health havoc with the cornered node, but that's fine. We don't have any debuffs. Um, um, okay, so it's basically just a big power gain havoc, so let's do this. We really wanted him to not throw as many special ones as possible. Okay, let's go. We're going to try to get as much life steal as possible. Okay, so I think our hits are all energy, so I think we're going to get screwed. So that's not good. 
This is very much not good. Are her hits energy? I'm confused. Like, they don't look very energized. They look very physical. These are definitely energy hits. So, this is definitely not a good fight. I, I take back what I said. She's not able to do this fight. <laughs> this is not good for her. Morning Star. Because we want to crit, basically, to um, regenerate. But if we crit, we give him um, plasma. So yeah, she's definitely very not good for this. But you saw she's very good for um, buffs. And that's pretty much what I wanted to show in this video. Um, not much else to show, really. She doesn't really work that She works really well in incursions. That's where she works well. Because of her regeneration, she can keep herself very topped up. See, look, we're going to die here. We need to... <laughs> to be fair, this fight did not go very well in the beginning, and it has not gone well since. But, we are still doing a decent percent of this man's health. So, yeah. If we get lucky on something... Oh, no, we're dead here. That special one sealed the deal, boys. It's over. Listen, even with a really bad matchup, she still got 30% of that fight down. So, Morningstar, basically by herself, and the Nick Fury synergy. Um, if we took out Mephisto and Guillotine and put a Havoc counter, this could be, she could solo the whole path, and then you could just use someone else for that boss. So yeah, Morningstar, she's a cool character. Um, she works really well with Mystic Dispersion, but most fights are dead by the special too, so... Yeah, any fight with those high amounts of buffs she's really good for. So yeah, Morningstar, she's a cool character. Um, if she was higher sig, that'd be cool, um, because it would give her a lot more. Um, like it, when she steals buffs, um, it's pretty nice. She gives herself a nice fury bonus, a nice regeneration and power game. Uh, the more potent it is, the higher sig she is. So yeah, Morningstar is a cool character. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, subscribe, and yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.